Catch 22 by Studio Arcade, Friends of the Show. Love it. And also loving the Girls Aloud's new single, ah. Untouchable, which is their 21st single to be released. Is it really? It is. And it will be released next month sometime. Awesome. And that Studio Arcade song, of course, uh, Studio Arcade we had on the show, what, two, three two weeks, weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. Uh, we played IDT then. There's, the album's also called IDT. It's released this month as well. On iTunes. Go and download it. Download it now. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And also this week we saw the release of Sarah Brown's single uh, Crazy which she did with audio players oh, which yes. also was um, aired first here preview world exclusives on <laughs> Carry On Friday <laughs> and if you've missed any of those and you want to hear yeah stop that now just stop that now please Alan sorry got carried away a lot I'm sorry somebody has to take control of you when you're ill alright just come back Packed yeah, up on Lemsip. Yeah, I know. If anyone wants to catch up on any of those past songs and shows, you can look at www.youtube forward slash oh, Carry on, on Friday. Friday. Leave us a message at the webpage on Facebook or sending us messages to www.gtfm.co.uk. No, hang on, hang on. That hang doesn't on. even make sense. www.gtfm. <laughs> <laughs> that won't get anywhere. <laughs> Are you doing so well? Mail at gtfm.co.uk. Oh, As well in done. M A I L, not M A L E. It's not like a separate mail and female uh, email address here at GTFM. That would be weird. Yes, it would. Talking of weird, mm -hmm. what's with the beard, weird? <laughs> beardy weirdy. You are a bit beardy weirdy. Is that because you're poorly? And no. You're like, oh, I've got a beard. Yeah, it I is. Shave. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not. It's, um, I'm actually in a in a uh, play next week um, where I've, they need me to grow. And I'm, I'm, I'm be honest with you, I can't wait to shave it off afterwards. But anyway, there we are. Um, hence why my hair's long as well, because I need to cut that off as well. I think you do. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, but it's called Loot. Right. And it's part of the five days of theatre, the atrium. It's the th and it's the third year students' big hurrah, hurrah. So they d put on their their pieces and shows, etc. And mine is well, mine. I say mine. I'm in somebody's uh, on thir next Thursday morning, eleven o'clock, and it's all free. It's all so anybody can go along to the atrium, anybody. watch these shows, which are all on. And there's loads. Is it three a day? It's three a day, apart from Monday. There's only two on Monday, but right. they kick off at three, and then every day it's eleven, three, and seven. And so if you're in town, you fancy watching a bit of. Three, three, <laughs> three, three, three theatre. Oh, that's difficult. Don't say that when you're drunk. No. Free theatre. Nip along to the atrium, and you can see some of our friends and even Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old man. In so, it. what are you doing in your one? Tell me about. Well, yours. I don't want to give too much away, but it's a, it's a dark comedy. Right. Uh, black comedy is the word. Isn't it? <laughs> Not a dark comedy. <laughs> are you trying to be politically correct? Politically. Oh, I can't speak I know, today. Well, tell me about it. I'm ill as well. So oh. uh, anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a black comedy. Uh, I'm an old man. Uh, yes, you are. So, no, I'm an old man in the play. Right. And that's something people will get to see. They'll get to see me looking an old man with an old man cardi. Um, <laughs> and it's, it should be quite, it's good fun, I think. Come along, have a laugh. And just remind everybody again, what day and what time are you on? That's Thursday. What date is that? The 26th. 20 26th. That's Thursday the 26th. At what time? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Be there or be a circle. A circle. Oh, instead of square. Yeah. So you did, did, did you see what I did? I wonder why they said you're a square if you're not cool. What's wrong with squares? Squares are important. I like squares. Yeah. Without squares, we wouldn't have... I do prefer triangles, though. <laughs> you're more of a triangle man? Yes, I am. How about oblong? I quite like an oblong as well. well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to like it when they call an oblong a quadrilateral. No, hang on. That, an, ob an oblong's like a squashed orange. Oh. They're like a squash circle. Oh, what's, what's, a quadrilateral's got four sides. Yeah, it's a bit like a square, but. Welcome to Science Corner on Carry On Friday. Mass chat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't very good at that. We should have auditioned for the, the, that position on Countdown, you know. Do you know, I watched that the other day, and it felt like I was watching it in a foreign country. It just doesn't feel right with neither ah. Carol Vorderman nor uh, Kevin Waitley. Not Kevin, Kevin Waitley. Waitley. Isn't he Lewis? Yes. Lewis! Kevin Whiteley. No, you mean uh, Richard Whiteley, don't you? Yes, I do. Twice Knightley Whiteley. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, they had, they had since. They had Lynham. They had O'Connor. Now, they, oh, Jeff Stelling is a legend. You don't know who he is. Is he football? Yeah, but um. he's amazing. It's not. It didn't have to be football. He sits there every Saturday, right? These scores are coming in. Oh, is that him who does that? He reels off the facts like he's some sort of god of facts. Fact I god. I think we've spoken about this on air before, have haven't we? we? Yes. Jeff Stelling? Yeah. On this show? Yes. <gasps> that will be an interview. Can we get Jeff Stelling on the if show? If you'd like to try, we can. That would be awesome. Maybe that's an off-air discussion rather did you than know it's the, Did you know it's the first day of spring today? Is it? Yes. 
Officially. Officially, it's the first day of spring. So welcome everybody to springtime. And apparently it's going to snow next month. A oh, week. Is it? So yeah. Because it's been quite nice weather this week. It has. Um, but um, the bees are, bees haven't come out yet and I'm a little bit worried. Why are you worried about bees? I don't like bees and wasps because I'm allergic. I are could you? go into anaphylactic shock if stung by too many. Anaphylactic? Anaphylactic. Who's she? She's a drag queen in Gran Canaria. Oh, right. <laughs> I stuck my foot in her wasp last month. <laughs> really? Yeah. What happened? Got stung. <laughs> 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 wasn't wasn't that fun of an experience? How many how many stung you? Did you have lots of little stings? You know what I can't remember. It must have been a few. It wasn't that many? Maybe they all went. I'll get it. I'll get it. And I was quick to move my foot out. Ow! So I don't know if they got me on the foot Ow. knob. A foot knob? You know your foot knob? I don't know. There's a real word for it. It's ankle bone. Oh right. Okay. I call it a foot knob. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, anyway, yes, this is a song you want to play, isn't it, Pete? This is a song by uh, Escobar, which is a Swedish band right. that I'd never heard of until this week, and I discovered them uh, because of Heather Nova, who this, they sing this song with. Right. And they've been about for about seven years Blimey. apparently. And this song is from 2001. It features Heather Nova, who again is a fabulous artist, and it's for Dawn, who will be listening in Tunbridge, and it's also for anybody who's been in a relationship and then you kind of realise you know this isn't working I liked you but I guess it's over and this is for anybody who's kind of dealing with that at the moment and this is Someone New by Escobar featuring Heather Nova (laughs) 